guys, John Hartley here with you, and we're switching back to web here and Sublime Text 2. Uh, I've been using Sublime Text 2 for a while now, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. And I thought I'd share a quick tip with you today on find and replace. And you may know about this. Uh, if you do, you don't really need to watch this, but uh, I may want to stick around just because you might learn something new. So find and replace in Sublime Text 2 is Command Shift F, and that will bring up this down here, you got find, where, replace, uh, find, and then where you would like to find that, and then your replace button. Uh, a few different ways to do this. Um, you have, you know, your regular expression, your case sensitive, whole word, show context, or use buffer. I usually have these two set up, and that's for the find function. And uh, I will use case sensitive for this, just to kind of show you what's going on. And here in my uh, folder of tutorial 16, I have test copy two, three, four, regular copy, regular test, and then test.php. The other ones are HTML. So let's take a look at what happens when I say find Hartley, uh, non-case sensitive, let's bring that back down to lowercase, and open folders without, well, we'll just go open folders, which will be tutorial 16 and replace it with John. So we say replace, it says replace six occurrences across six files. Yeah, sure, why not? So all of these now have the John test and that is uh, everything. Each of those files is now open. You will have to save them individually in order to get it to save overall. So I'll go ahead and save all of these real quick. And so now all of these are open. Uh, and those will be open files. So if we switch this to open files and we took out uh, say test copy two and we replaced John with Hartley we say replace and now it only says replace five occurrences across five files and that's only because we have five files open instead of six which we have in our folder so I'm not gonna do that quite yet I'll go ahead and hit case sensitive and now which what Watch what happens uh, when we hit replace. It says no matches found, and that's because lowercase John is not in any of our files at all. Another thing you can do is you can add exclude or include filters, and this is pretty cool, um, and I'll show it to you by kind of getting my PHP out of there. We'll go back to open folders, and this says anything in front of .php don't replace John in that. So we'll say replace, no matches found, we still have case sensitive on, so we'll turn that off, and we'll replace, it says five occurrences across five files, that is correct because we have five HTML files. So now again, these have all changed, save those, save those, save those, save those, and test.php is still the John test. And so that's a quick look at how to use the find and replace tool uh, I'll show you this other thing real quick, and that is if you go ahead and say find John, and then you hit find instead of replace, it's gonna search five files for John, zero matches across zero files, and that's because we are still using that um, exclude down here. So we'll take that out, we'll say find again, and there we go, searching six files for John, and the John test right there. We have one file, and that is PHP, because all the other ones have the Hartley test from the place we just did. So now we'll look for Hartley, find, and now we have five matches across five files. Tells you the exact line that it's on, line six, and what file. Copy to HTML, line six, line six right there, there it is. So that's a quick look at how to use Find and Replace in Sublime Text 2. Hope you guys uh, learned something from this. And uh, if you have ideas on tutorials for me to make, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Until next time, I'm John Hartley.